So what was the flaw? Well, let's zoom in and let's take a look at this step one. It was allocation, but not initialization. So we also said that there was race condition opportunities between functions running in the kernel. So let's say that kernel thread one is running and it gets up to this allocation IO malloc stored into this pointer. Pointer is stored into this particular area, which looks to be highlighted. But of course, a researcher saying that something is not initialized should immediately make you think about OODA possibilities. But let's imagine that it gets up through here, this assignment, and then there is a context switch from a race condition. And then it's over here running in kernel thread two. And so if this code gets through here, we don't know what the output length is based on this little snippet. We just know that the output length is less than or equal to trap info length and trap info length is hex 204. So output length could be 204. This plus 230 comes from this IO malloc over here. So we're copying out from an, an uninitialized buffer, which just has a whole bunch of kernel memory. And we're copying it out to an output buffer, which I told you to assume would eventually make its way out to user space. So that looks to me like it's a race condition leading to an OODA vulnerability. So uninitialized, this is a pointer, it's accessing from this uninitialized allocation that ultimately leads to an info leak. And indeed in the slides he showed how basically you could have a whole bunch of memory get leaked, you see all sorts of strings and things from the kernel, which again is bad if you potentially can steal secrets. And then he imagines that you could potentially find things like function pointers in here or pointers that otherwise would allow you to find out and de-randomize the kernel addresses. So what was the fix for this? Well, it's proprietary code and there was no patch analysis done by the researcher, so we just don't know. Is a vulnerability like this still present, still lurking in the Apple code? Well, I guess someone would need to do a bunch of reverse engineering to find that out, wouldn't they?